Good morning. Thanks to sign of improvement of China-U.S. relationship, as well as sharp rebound of China technology stock, Hong Kong stock markets accumulated near 1,400 points gains in the past three trading days. Together with Hong Kong stock turn weak in the U.S. ADL markets last night, Hong Kong stock is likely to suffer from profits taking today. Hence, the index resistance will be 50-day moving average, which is around 25,461 points. Hong Kong stock connects recorded net inflow of $2.1 billion on Monday, of which Tencent recorded a net buy of $1.5 billion, while insurance stock also have some net inflow. However, technology stock has rose obviously in the past few trading days, of which May time resistance will be 250-day moving average, which is around $292. On the other hand, most China auto manufacturer production volume fell year on year in September, but rebounded on a monthly basis, reflecting the chip shortage issue has signs of improvement. Investors could accumulate major automakers such as GE 175 during weakness. For the topic today, we recommend Bosidan 3998. Coal shortage and tightening enforcement of emission curbs have led to electricity crunch in China since late September. It is still uncertain for the easing of electricity shortage, and hence we expect demands for Dan Aparos to increase ahead of winter. This bodes well for Dan Aparos brand Bosidan, targeting the brand as mid and high end product mix upgrade is expected to drive average selling price up by double digit percentage in the next three years. The company expects that net margin expanding to 15 to 20 percent from 13 percent in fiscal 21. The youth and fashionable brands positioning face first valuation upgrade. And therefore, we suggest investors to engage as shares pull back with a target price of $7 and a stock loss price at $5. Thank you.